Hello there, this is Dustin Correa with Before Semi Calling, and in this video, I'm going to quickly explain to you when to use header, main, footer, and aside HTML tags. First one up, the main tag. Main tag is used to describe the main and unique content of the document, and this means it cannot exist more than once in a document. And its content is the main reason a user would visit that page in the first place. Another thing to take in consideration is that it cannot exist inside an article, section, aside, header, footer, and nav tags. You can, however, wrap the entire page in a div tag and it's okay to put that main tag inside. Now, the header tag. You will use this tag to put introductory content or navigation links. You can put logos, icons, heading, and any other tag to describe authorship information. I normally put site logo, main navigation, and it cannot go inside the footer tag as well as the address tag. As you can see here on the right, I have the simple layout and you can notice that I have header tag inside a side, section, and main tags. Inside an article tag, you can put the title of the article, who is the author, links for sharing, links for author page. Inside the section or the main tag, you can put the heading of the section or the main, a quick intro to what the section is about, and voila, it's the header tag. Now, the footer tag is the opposite of what the header tag represents, and that's why you should not put the header tag inside the footer tag. It describes the conclusion or footer of the document. Like the header tag, it must relate to its containing content. For example, if you put the footer on the for the page, the footer must have the things related to the page. If you put inside a main or section or a side tags, it must describe the conclusion of this wrapper tag. Content type can be the sitemap, back to top button, contact, links, um, copyright or authorship information, etc. Last but not least, the aside tag. Use this tag to further describe the main content. Simple as that. That means that if you have an article or in the main tag, the aside tag must further describe that article. For example, the article talks about places to visit in Lisbon, Portugal. So the aside tag might contain content like population of Portugal, money they use, language they speak, etc. Aside is for extra stuff about the main stuff and with that this video ends please check out my video on when to use section article and div tags and make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos thanks for watching see you next video bye